Good evening. I am Alan DeGeneres, and tonight on Off the Beaten Path, we're going to be chatting with Miss Josephine Gerbils, lecturer and author of Preemptive Strike, Keeping America's Edge, which is celebrating its 18th week at the top of the bestseller charts. Miss Gerbils. Gerbils. Oh, I'm, I'm sorry. I'm sorry. Uh, uh, Gerbils. Um, in your book, you come out very strongly in favor of the United States Patriot Act. Now, yes. tell me, what would you say to the various civil liberties groups that are trying to repeal it? <laughs> These are people who blindly worship our founding fathers, which might seem harmless and maybe even a little cute at first, but let's not forget that a lot of those guys were dangerous and some of them were outright nuts, like Thomas Jefferson, whew, clearly an advocate of terrorism. What? The tree of liberty must be watered with the blood of tyrants and patriots? <laughs> McVeigh had those words on his t-shirt the day he terrorized America. Well, I, I wouldn't say that you could blame Thomas Jefferson for the Oklahoma City bombing. Well, you're wrong, but worse than the violence our founders incite from the grave is the way they blatantly encourage people to endanger America by obsessing over freedom. I mean, every week some moron writes me saying those who give up precious liberty to purchase a little temporary safety deserve neither and lose both. Uh, wasn't it Benjamin Franklin that said that? And he's parroted by every America-hating idiot in the country. Tell me, should we let Al-Qaeda overrun America so nobody gets frisked at the airport? I, 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 mean, I hardly think that you can call it. that you hardly think. Freedom is not free, folks. The cost of freedom is you have to give up some freedom to have freedom. <sighs> okay. Um, now, how, 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 how then do, do you balance... Uh, the need to have a government that is transparent and accountable with the need for security. <laughs> Sorry. Transparency and accountability? Come on. That would help with poodle skirts. <laughs> All right. Maybe back in the 1700s, a transparent government was fine. Back then, all you had to do was make sure the British weren't crossing the Atlantic. So you've done your homework. Whatever. <laughs> Defending America is clearly more complicated now. And the Founding Fathers always intended that we would alter the Constitution, even scrap it if need be, in order to protect and defend our homeland. But no, 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 wait. Do you think that the original patriots would approve of the Patriot Act? Yes, I think a lot of them would. Alexander Hamilton, John Adams, definitely. Yes, Thomas Jefferson would have a hissy fit. Well, you know it is disgusting the way liberals lionize an irresponsible anarchist like that while demonizing a truly great man like Joe McCarthy. Yes, now, um, what, 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 what would you say uh, uh, to, to, to the various um, people who have taken to comparing the Patriot Act, say, to the emergency edicts uh, passed in Germany after the Reichstag <sighs> fire? That I'm so tired of people comparing them. Bush to Hitler. I mean... I so unoriginal. Okay, yes, some of the Bush administration policies do resemble those of the Nazis, but <laughs> that's nothing new. We've been barring from the Reich for years. Liberals only whine about it if it happens when a Republican's in office. Take the 1968 gun control bill. Whole paragraphs translated directly from the Nazi let weapons law. But are liberals trying to repeal that? No, and why should they? We had a senator at Nuremberg resourceful enough not just to convict war criminals, but to see where we could learn from them. I mean, that's the kind of ingenuity America needs. Let's face it, evil though they were, the Nazis were efficient and effective. What they used for evil, we can use for good. It's not your methods, it's your motives. Um, and, and on that note, um, th th thank you. For, for stopping by. My pleasure. Yes. Um, now, now join us uh, next week when we'll be chatting with a midget who's in favor of big government. <laughs> Thanks, Bill.